Donnie here, and in this video, I'm gonna go over five lessons that I learned from making over 10,000 cold calls, and I'm gonna be doing so out here in the rainforest. Hey, John Cristani here. Now, my first job out of college was a telemarketing job. It was where I had to do cold calls. I had to call people that had businesses that had websites and I'd offer them SEO services, basically charge them $1,000 a month to help them get ranked higher on the internet. Now, the lessons that I learned from making all these cold calls was plentiful. And this was actually one of the best experiences that I ever had in my life in terms of developing myself and my career, even though that I didn't end up going into sales. Now, the first lesson that I learned was that you learn by doing. I went through every single book, every single course on sales that you could possibly go through. Zig Ziglar, Tom Hopkins, Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Jordan Belfort, everybody. And no matter how many courses I went through, no matter how many books I read, it doesn't make you better. The only thing that made me better was actually doing and doing and doing over and over again. Just coming into my job after reading and taking a lot of courses, it doesn't make you good. It's courses plus repetition, right? And that's why one of the focuses of me in my training courses that I offer in marketing focus on helping get people to actually go out there and post ads and do marketing and do data analysis and copywriting, and write their own ads and all that stuff. Because the biggest hurdle that most people face when they're starting out a marketing career is they don't want to do anything, right? They just want to take courses, but you have to do stuff. You have to put up tons of ads if you want to get good in marketing, just as you have to make tons of calls if you want to get good at sales. Sorry, it's getting a little dark here. So we are in the rainforest on the Olympic Peninsula. It's called the Ho Rainforest and it's absolutely gorgeous. You see sword ferns, mosses all up in the trees, lots of conifers, etc. And this is what I love to do for fun. The second lesson that I learned was that you can reach anybody you want to. It doesn't matter how important you perceive that person to be. There's always a way. There's always something that important people are looking for. And if you know what they're looking for, if you can figure that out, then you can get through their gatekeepers or you can just reach them directly if you utilize social media and emails and phone calling, right? And it just so happened that I was offering marketing services, SEO services, which would help people get more sales, more customers. So a lot of people were very receptive to that when you put it in a way, in a real world way that says, hey, I could get you ranked on Google. I would say, hey, I can make you help you get more sales of your CNC machines, right? I'd be very specific because nobody wants SEO, but everybody wants more customers. So I would be very specific and specifically these companies, they wanted more customers of their particular product. And I know that may sound banal, but the point being you can reach anybody. The third lesson that I learned is that people work better in teams. There were days when, you know, I did about four months of about roughly 120 calls a day. And there were days when I woke up and I just didn't want to get hung up on like 110 times, right? Like that's no fun. That's like constant rejection all day. And I just didn't feel like it some days. But the fact that I went into an office, the fact that I was surrounded by a team of people who were also doing the same thing I was, gave me motivation to push through. That's huge, you know? So even if you're working alone, even if you're an entrepreneur and you're a solopreneur or whatever, find other entrepreneurs that you can team up with or meet up with on a weekly or a daily or whatever basis because teams work better than individuals. It's just a fact. Ooh, it's getting dark here. I mean, there's super dense overgrowth right now. And as you see, it's just clouds everywhere out here so seattle is known as the rainy city and it's always cloudy out here now the fourth lesson i learned is that of emotional fortitude 
having been hung up on about 9,090, 900 times, right? Over 9,000 times, let's say I was hung up on. You build up brass balls. Girls and guys can have brass balls. That's not sexist, okay? You build up brass balls. You build up emotional fortitude to being rejected. And that is an essential skill in business because no matter what you're doing, whether it's sales or marketing or development or customer service, you're going to have lots of bad experiences. By the way, Check out this beautiful sword fern, batch of sword ferns, beautiful. And that emotional fortitude carried with me to the rest of my career. It's very hard to phase me. You know, I've been in the middle of starting a new part of my business on TV ads. To get profitable, I had to lose almost $700,000 to get to the point where I'm profitable. In my case, profitability means scaling up to over a million dollars a month in profits, which is, you know, very hard. But in TV's case, it's kind of a winner take all. You're either doing nothing or you're making lots of money. So it's very hard to scale up to that point. You have to have a lot of emotional fortitude to start a business. If you're going into something which takes money, losing money, or if you're not spending money and you're going to have to spend a lot of your time fruitlessly, it's going to be hard to spend a lot of your time without seeing the results immediately. Like a job, right? In a job, you get paid no matter what. Whereas as an entrepreneur, so I'm walking over some, I'm to walk around some mud thing there. There's this, look at, look how muddy this trail is. I heard you asking for more kind of genuine videos and my hobby is national parks. I love visiting national parks. I love exploring in nature. Usually I don't shoot my videos out here, but let me know. Just type in love it. <laughs> and uh, I know this is very raw, right? And I'm doing that for a reason. I mean, I want to see if you guys like it or not. Again, the lighting's not great. It might be shaky, but the stories and the lessons are real. Now, going back to emotional fortitude, I'd say having emotional fortitude was probably the most important lesson I learned from really my entire four months or four or five months of doing sales. It was a hard lesson and it's scary. And I think a lot of people resist learning it. I definitely see that amongst my students. A lot of students of any kind of online course will start something and stop at the first sign of rejection and then just kind of bounce around, right? A lot of my students, you know, they try to drop shipping, then they got an obstacle and they at the first sign of rejection, right? They jump over to affiliate marketing and then they do affiliate marketing and the first sign of rejection, they hop over to Amazon and then the, again, 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 and the cycle always continues to repeat itself. And that's not a way, if you can't handle the emotional, just, you know, withdrawal from wasting time or wasting money, then you're never going to succeed in business, right? I spent a year and $700,000 trying to get one marketing campaign up on TV, right? Took a long time, but the payoff is monstrous, right? As tall as that tree. So it's all worth it in the end, but it's hard. And the fifth and final lesson that I learned from my four or five months doing sales is that sometimes it's just not for you, right? Sometimes you can give something your best shot. Sometimes you can do everything that you would be expected to do. Sometimes you can read every book, you can learn every lesson, you can hire the best instructors, you can surround yourself with the best people and you'll still fail. You'll never get hit your stride and ultimately it's just not meant for you. And I learned that with sales. I, uh, I'm gonna take off my backpack. I got my book, my hammock in here. Here we are up against the Mount Olympus or Mount Olympic. Olympia is right over there up in the clouds. It's one of the tallest mountains in the U.S. It's a volcano. And here is the uh, river. Let's see? Ocean is that way. Mount Olympus is that, or Olympia is that way. So sometimes it's not meant for you. And that was hard because I don't like failing. I've always been a bulldog. I always believed up until that point that I could do whatever I set my mind to. And I believe I could still do well in sales since, you know, I kind of combine marketing and sales with, you know, what I do with uh, selling courses now. But, uh, you know, it wasn't my preferred lane. And uh, my preferred lane where I just exploded it very fast was marketing. 
And all the while I was doing 120 calls a day doing sales, you know, I would get in the office at 6 a.m. I'd call the uh, UK, I'd call the East Coast, and then I'd start calling West Coast, right? Or in the in-between. And I would get through my 120 calls at around three o'clock each day. And then I would go over to the marketing department and learn about what they were doing. And I'd just end up doing some of their work, right, in my free time. They were managing Google ads. And I found I was really good at marketing. I was really good at managing Google ads. I was really good at copywriting. I was good at data analysis. And I fit there better. You know, I was failing as a salesperson. I never did good as a salesperson. But in marketing, I ended up getting hired in the marketing department and I switched over there and I became the director of the department and I got hired to be the director of marketing at another company. And I formed an additional department, which is the e-commerce data feed, you know, e-commerce, which is data feed syndication. And I just exploded because I could work well with copywriting and statistics. But the point is sometimes what you're doing is not for you. And sometimes things just click. I hope that was a helpful lesson. Again, let me know if you like this video. It's a very different video from the ones I normally do, but I go to a lot of awesome locations. Uh, I go to a lot of national parks. I absolutely love America. I love nature. I love the world. And I love experiencing what our creator has given to us. I believe we are living in heaven, right? We are in heaven right now. If you look all around the universe, there's nothing, nothing like this planet right here. It's also another reason I'm a big supporter of Jeff Bezos's company, Blue Origin, which seeks to harvest the resources from space and bring them back to Earth to make our Earth better, more beautiful, and more fun. So, let me know what your thoughts are about this video. If you love it, type in love it. If you hate it, just type in I hate it. And always like, subscribe, and comment. If you would like to see more, I do money giveaways every single Monday. I just give away gift cards, Amazon gift cards to a bunch of people. And also I encourage you, if you want to continue the conversation and start surrounding yourself with other marketers, make sure you join my forum which is the Discord, johncristani.com backslash Discord, which is in the links in the description. Thanks for watching and let me know your thoughts again. I don't know. I'm assuming people will hate this. I ultimately judge by the view count. Little spoiler tip there, but we'll see. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, John, absolutely one of the best teachers there are. Uh, literally anybody who wants to start an online business, it's a bit of a no-brainer. John is absolutely amazing. Hi, John, I wanted to take a quick moment to give you a quick testimonial. Uh, yesterday, I made my first online affiliate commission. I am absolutely, uh, totally excited. And for the first time, I really see that, you know, I have a future in this and I have someone who has my back. So again, John, just thank you so much for your time to just uh, help everybody in the group and just to give us, you know, nothing but, but value week after week after week. Again, thank you so much.